Right now, we are about to bring someone to the front of the congregation. Let us know in the chat who y'all think it might be. Who is out here doing something great or doing something dumb or somebody we need something from? Can I get a herd? Yeah. Yeah. The devil is not welcome here. About that Come time. on down to the front of the congregation. We got 29 likes. Let's keep that going. Let's try to get to 50 likes by the end of this video. Share this to your Twitter, your YouTube, your TikTok, anywhere, your Instagram. It's about that time. I'm going to turn over the floor to Brother Tiny so he can bring this person to the front of the congregation. We have another one here, fellas. Another one. This person, we got to bring to the front of the congregation because he almost, what you call, sold. He wow. almost sold us and made us lose this game. This is a very mm -hmm. important game. And this time, we need to be so focused. It's the playoff time. So, Ain't that the truth? Without further ado, Mr. Brown, A.D., Come to the front of the congregation. Come on down to the front of the congregation. Now, before I tell you what I need you to do, let's talk about what you did. Let's talk about that. LeBron had a highlight play. Schroeder hit the game-winning shot. He posed. You had the Staples Center crack. Everybody was out their chair cheering it was playoff atmosphere lakers yeah. up by three because lebron drives to the hole he goes up for a reverse ah he sees shooters in the corner he Dish. throws it to shooter ah. shooter ah. candy splash then he do this like he getting a shot in his arm ice in my veins like he giving blood ice in my veins everybody thought we won they got one second left they call timeout i did they advanced the ball to half court. God did. They ran the play. Talk about it. You got Mike Conley open in the corner for what reason? Who Bruh. knows? You late to get over there. They throw it to Mike Conley. Ah. He hit the side of the backboard. I'm like, damn, that's Mike Conley in the side of the backboard? It was so loud, I didn't hear the damn whistle. It was a whistle. A fucking foul. Because AD won a foul. Maybe foul to go to the playoffs. That's the wrong time to be fouling, man. You need to stop that. You need to play your heart out. Mm -hmm. Now, luckily, in overtime, we did what we were supposed to do in regular time. We did. But now, AD, that was the past. And all is forgiven. If you and Bron could bring another championship back home to L.A. The devil is not welcome here. It's playoff time. We got to go against Memphis. Ja Morant. Wow. Jaron Jackson. Dylan Brooks. They don't equal up to no motherfucking Anthony Davis. I need you to be that dog. Talk about it. I need you to be that beast. I need you to ball out every game. Play it like it's your last. Yeah. I brought LeBron to the motherfucking congregation last week. You ain't off the hook. I'm bringing your ass down to the congregation today. Mm -hmm. Now, AD, it's time that you put on for the city. Ain't that the truth? LA, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, AD. Oh it's time. God. Every game, do what you're supposed to do. If you do what you're supposed to do, and Bron do what he gonna do, what they say, give us a ring, man. Championship us up. 
So that's who come to the front of the congregation today, A.D. Come on down to the front of the congregation. You got bailed out because we ended up winning in OT. But now is when it really counts. Every game, play it like it's your last, A.D. Mm-hmm. Nigga. Nigga. Can I get a herd? Herd. Herd. Hell of a sermon by Brother Tiny right now. I believe in you, AD. Filled with nothing but truth and motivation for Brother AD. I believe in you, man. You know, sometimes we all make mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes we just need a little push in the right direction. Exactly. So hopefully, AD, if you're watching it, if you see this, Brother Tiny just gave you that push. It's time for you to run. Time for you to lead us to a ring outside the bubble. Can I get a herd? Shout out to Brother Tiny, man. That was one hell of a sermon. As a Laker fan, I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. You know what I mean? We need this guy right here. <laughs> There's just no if, ands, buts, yeah, way. That's the goddamn bottom line. <laughs> That's the goddamn bottom line. <laughs> we we need, need this nigga. So it's just like, you got to figure it out, man. And you can't make the bonehead mistakes like you made. But it's okay. You know why? Because nobody's perfect. And that's yeah. what my, bro- bro- my brother Tiny is here to show you. Nobody's perfect. We all can do better. We all can, and we all will. You just got to, what is it? You got to create your life. Yeah. Don't be lost out there. Yeah. Don't find yourself. Create yourself. Wow. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Yeah. We just brought Anthony Davis, Lakers superstar, to the front of the congregation. Lakers in four, don't worry about nothing. Maybe five. Don't worry about anything. Lakers in five. Lakers in five. So we can win at home. So then we could bring the Lakers to the front of the congregation have a party in this motherfucker. Yeah. Bottles and all that. <laughs> it's lit. Yeah. Make sure y'all like this video. For sure. Like this video. Screenshot your you like. Are. Know what number you are because we will be doing a raffle. We already had somebody win earlier. Shout out to Cleve the God. 